Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at what's new with the GoZ Plus plugin which allows us to quickly and efficiently transfer models between Character Creator and ZBrush. The GoZ Plus plugin now allows you to take your diffuse and normal textures from your object or character model in Character Creator along with the new subdivision and smooth option upon export. The subdivision option allows you to send the original low poly model to ZBrush where it gets subdivided into more detailed high poly model. This enables you to sculpt details in higher resolution, then bake those details to a normal map for use in CC. When you send the model to ZBrush, you'll see that the diffuse texture has now been converted to polypaint, and the normal map has now been converted to its own layer for mesh editing. An important update to be aware of here is that when updating the model back to CC, you will now use the GoZ button under the GoZ Plus plugin, as opposed to the old GoZ function on the right tool panel. This plugin will automatically be installed to ZBrush when you transfer the model from CC. Let's take a brief look at an actual example of using the GoZ Plus plugin to enhance details. Let's use the GoZ Plus plugin from the toolbar to send this shield prop over, ensuring that the template is set to create in the settings. Diffuse and Normal will be sent over, along with a subdivision level of 7. We don't need the Smooth option for now as this is a rigid object. In ZBrush, you can see the levels of subdivision that have been created and polypaint has been enabled. Let's create a new layer to sculpt some additional details on this shield and add some color highlights to our sculpting. From there, let's ensure we select a 4K resolution for the most detail then click Go Z to update the result in Character Creator. Since we're updating now, just ensure that the action template is now set to update. You can see the fancy new results thanks to the updated diffuse and normal maps. The smooth option is useful for soft cloth objects and models that don't have sharp edges, since, as its name implies, it will smooth out jagged or sharp edges of the mesh surface automatically. In the case of this tablecloth, note how the exported model with the smooth option selected on the right has a more suitable result in this particular scenario. Let's take a quick look at how we can use the GoZ Plus workflow to create accessories for our CC3 Plus cowboy model here. Start by selecting all of the relevant meshes on the character and proceed with the GoZ Plus export, again using the Create template. Now that our model is in ZBrush, we can begin to create a hat accessory via a separate subtool. Feel free to model and color it as you see fit. I'll continue on to use the same process to create an epic mustache. Again, be sure to use your model's mesh as a reference to place your accessories properly in relation to where they would normally be. Unless, of course, you want a mustache on your character's head instead. I'll continue on to create some hair to frame the head. When finished, I'll hide all of the subtools except for the accessories that I just created and continue to click on the visible button in the GoZ Plus plugin, which will save a bit of time from needing to transfer over the meshes that we didn't update. In the GoZ import options in CC, be sure to choose Create Accessory for all of the meshes and then Update. You'll see that they've all now been added, along with fully baked diffuse and normal maps for the color and mesh sculpting details we added earlier. To have them move along with your character during animation, be sure to attach them to the relevant character bone, in this case the CC base head bone. You can do this from the Attributes tab of the Modify panel, or by simply right-clicking your accessory mesh and choosing Attach. You can see now that the accessories move properly along with the head. In this scenario, let's do some brief editing to the character mesh to add some more design details. In the export options here, we can enable smooth for all of the organic meshes, but let's disable it for the shackles which have some sharp corners. You can see all of the meshes are now represented by polygroups in ZBrush. You can set your subdivision to your preferred level before starting on the sculpting. 
Be sure to enable recording mode on your layers before adding your details. Here I'm simply adding some muscle contour details for more defined musculature and then painting on some tribal tattoos. Since I edited both mesh and surface colors, I'll use the All button in the GoZ Plus plugin to update the complete model back to CC. Here you can see the completely updated model, complete with the diffuse map baked from our poly paint editing, and the normal map baked from our mesh editing. Ok so we've got our cool looking troll model updated, let's explore how we can use the useful expression and pose editing tools in CC to add some personality to our model. Let's start off by using the Edit Pose tool which allows us to manually select the bones of our character's rig and manipulate them into this dynamic pose. We can then use the Edit Facial tool where we can start off with one of the dozens of basic expression templates and refine it by manipulating the individual facial muscles. Once finished, let's then use the GoZ Plus plugin once again, this time using Relink and enabling Relink mesh changes in New Layer. Also be sure to select Current Pose. This will save the current pose in a new layer when it's sent to ZBrush, which we can show or hide as needed. When you have multiple poses in ZBrush, switching between them can be time consuming. Thankfully Reillusion has provided an additional Pose Tools plugin to help make this process more efficient. Let's send this new pose over via GoZ, which will once again import as a new layer. Once Pose Tools is installed, you can go over and click on Refresh Pose List, which will aggregate all of the currently added pose layers, allowing you to easily toggle between them with a single click. Finally, we can put some finishing touches onto our model with some high resolution mesh editing to make it more suitable for 3D printing. ZBrush is a tool that is frequently used for designing and sculpting 3D printed models, which require a significant level of detail for quality results. By utilizing the powerful combination of the sculpting and painting tools in ZBrush with the pose and expression editing tools in Character Creator, you can significantly enhance your 3D model printing workflow to help bring your creations into the physical realm. That's it for this getting started tutorial guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.